lift, 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 run. Full throttle, little brakes, little brakes. Lean backwards, little more brakes, little more brakes, little more, more brakes, more brakes, more brakes, pull the brakes. There you go. Right hand up, weight shift. Weight shift, keep climbing. Nice job, sir.
there you go that should do it full brake slide run 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 as fast as you and run backwards back up back up no face away face your glider face your glider back up there you go not too shabby good landing you just got to pay attention to where the glider's going and if it's over flying you just back up hey dog hi dog yeah. hey puppy so excited yeah yeah Woohoo! booyah successful Woo flight <laughs> took off and landed at the same spot that's pretty important there you go man yeah. that was Woo. awesome straight from the beach <laughs> to a very difficult launch well that was kind of a, sl a foot slide land wasn't it the uh and you know that medium is hauling butt yeah. <laughs> at this altitude you got some speed it just feels so much shorter in the air that's a couple hours right <laughs> i don't think so i don't know we'll see let's actually uh yeah gopro says two hours but that includes the setup and everything around. yep 45 minutes. Yeah, I was so, kind of circling for a while. That was awesome. See, you came in really hot. Uh-huh. That was fast. My landing? <laughs> the, uh, but yeah, you're, you did, I mean, it was perfect. You just brought it in and you slided it to a stop. That was beautiful. The, uh, once you touch down, you want to take off running as fast as you can go. Uh-huh. Um, oh, yeah, we need to get you using your competition toggles, too. Because you didn't pull all your brakes. That's why you were going that fast. So if you'd have reached up and grabbed those... Oh, the flat things. Yeah, so you needed that extra five inches of brake. Mm. And that would have slowed you down that extra three miles an hour, which would have made a big difference. Right, because it really only slid six feet. Yeah. And then it stopped right there. But, yeah, because you slid it in, you made a perfect landing. Uh -huh. If you didn't land like that, that would have been... Imagine if you'd have landed like that at that speed. Mm. You would have just pounded in. But I waited till pretty much the last moment, right? Yeah, that was perfect. Beautiful landing. I was surprised. I kind of ran out of brake. I was like, oh, there's no more brake. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting more. Competition toggles. Competition toggles. Yeah. Okay. Hoorah. So turn off radio. Here, I'll show you. Right here, just so you can see it. Here's the flat part. So, well, it's kind of a neat little trick to doing it here. So, here's our brake. So, this is the way that I do it. I flip, I always put this little tab pointing towards my pinky. Mm -hmm. like that. Then, oops, flip the hand upside down, pull with the thumb, boom, there yeah. it is. And you can kind of, once you get the hang of it, you can do it really fast so even when you landed just now you use those absolutely always, always 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 yeah even with the throttle in your hand like that you can flip it over and it doesn't really matter even with the throttle it's really easy to grab both sides the idea being you don't lose control as you're grabbing it you got it boom just right there five more inches yep and that makes a big big difference when uh -huh. you go to land and because you know at, now that you, you're really doing what extremely well you can always fly those smaller faster gliders uh -huh. and so you know obviously you gotta <laughs> you gotta pull every inch of brake yeah. when you're flying a medium at 5,000 feet uh -huh. you know in zero wind it's gonna make me want sand every time it's like where's the sand? Booyah. where is the sand yeah the gravel's okay for landing but yeah. 